Okay, we have a 2001 Ford F-150 4.3 liter V6. This is the XLT Ford F-150 and we're replacing the PVC valve that we got at AutoZone. This one here is a Duralast PVC 2302DL. And what's going on with my truck is the idle is going woo, 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 woo. And so I go in and they tell me it's either the intake manifold gasket or it is the PVC valve. Well, I'll show you where the PVC valve is. If you go over to the left side of the motor where I've got the light shining here and you look uh, on top of the manifold cover, there's right back here, there's three wires right there, or three tubes, they're not wires, and they go in to the PVC valve. So if I just pull those up, they'll come right out of the top of the valve. And let's see here, here it is here, right there. I don't know if you can see me moving my hand, but right there, so. That's it there. And it's got like, well, I don't know, three tubes on there. You gotta take all that off and then stick the new one on. Okay, I've got the valve pulled, or the PVC valve pulled out. I've got the one of the hoses taken off and that's the top one. There's two more hoses I gotta take off. Then I have to uh, attach it, reattach all the hoses. Once you get the PVC valve off, you'll see that this here is clipped onto the back side of this, and then it's secured around the outside portion of the PVC valve. And what you do is take a screwdriver and you put it in this uh, little part right there, and you pry that off. When you pry that off, then it will come off of this, and then your PVC valve will slip out of that, and then. What you do is you just put your new one back in the same way. You insert the two radiator fluid hoses that go on each side of this, and then you install your PVC, I believe, air pipe back onto this end. And I'll uh, get the new one put back on now. Okay, now I have it cleaned up a little bit. This is the new PVC valve. And see this little tube, that's what the radiator fluid runs through. Uh, and there's a little clip back here on the back and you just put this uh, tube around the new PVC and then you slip this clip on making sure one side of the clip goes underneath this little beveled edge here and then the other side goes over the top and you just kind of hold it like this and you just push it on with your thumb and you may have to pull up on the ends to get it in the right place but once you get that on then you just simply put your radiator hoses back on these two and your PVC air hose back in that one and then stick it back in the hole and then you're done. Probably saved a hundred dollars or so on your labor from a garage. Okay I discovered when I was putting a, it back on uh, that the, the one that the air tube is on top this little bracket here uh, if you can see that let me get my light here you can see that that little bracket is one of those that's in there but this one here as you can see is broken I don't know if it was that way before but when you're putting it back on make sure that you uh, use one of your new feedings out of the little box and so if I just look at them I should be able to see which one switch I think that's the match for it right there you see the brand new one versus the broken one. so we'll make sure we put the, the right one back on make sure it fits looks like it does so we'll stick these on there and should fix the problem. Okay, I got the PVC valve in place right back here. It's on the back left manifold cover right there at the end of my finger moving. It's got two hoses that come from the uh, 
somewhere that the radiator circulates through and goes around a little metal pipe that attaches to the PVC valve. And then it's got an air tube, which is this, this one right here that goes over to it and attaches to that little plastic part that I was showing you about. When you put it in, you want to make sure that your two pipes that I showed you are sticking upward. If they're pointing down, that's not the right way. And you'll have to take it and take the, the tubes back off and turn them right back up. You want them pointed towards the back. And then a little plastic elbow, you want it pointed up towards the front of the motor. And once you slide all that back together, kind of position it and it'll fit right back in the hole. And the hole, it goes in in your, uh, your, uh, your uh, cover, your whatever you call this damn thing, this cover anyways, but I just went brain dead, but it just slips right in there. And uh, it was a head gasket cover. It just slips right in there and, uh, and it pulls in and out real easy. But uh, that's how you do it. And uh, you'll have all these other little pieces left over. This I guess made for different types of vehicles. And uh, this again is the one I took out that was broken. And uh, this is the old PVC valve. It's just got like a little flapper valve in there. I don't see how it could go out, but ain't much to it. But anyways, that's how you do it. Uh, hope to get this out to you soon. Thanks, bye.